so I've got one rabbit, some haggis, and some bacon. So the first thing I need to do is prepare said buddinkins. So it's a nice little one. Just separating the skin, the fur from the skin. Just going to put a nick in there. And then through to the other side. And then gently pull would help if I cut the Achilles <laughs> and then just gently real simple pull the fur off. Push the arms through, you can make a hole if you want. To the side. He's a bit tougher than I thought. Come on, you beauty. Go on. <sighs> Off with its head. Right. Now we can have a closer look. So I like to use my poultry shears. So simple. Get it in that gap. Absolutely perfect. Up through the sternum. Got our lovely liver and our heart. Take that out. And then we'll have a look at this back end. So I'm just going to make a cut either side of that tail and bend that tail back and then twist and it should pull the rest of the crap out and give it a check nice and clean get rid of that kidney and there we have one rabbit to play with so what I'm looking for here basically is the loin so I'm just going to break this down by taking the shoulders off it's only houred on by muscle so just take the whole thing off And onto the back legs. Just help them on their way. As you can see, just splitting out, popping out the ball and socket. Nice and simple. Follow the bone along. Make sure you take in that femur. Put that over there for a minute, then gives us one 
loin. So first thing we need to do is tidy up that back end through there. And I'm going to just cut this down a little. Because what I want to do is take it off the bone. So go through there. Now of course all these bits won't be wasted. They can go into a stew, the legs maybe comfy them so many things you can do but this is the bit I'm interested in so as you can see on this loin then there's hardly any membrane across the spine you can actually hear the bones through it but it doesn't matter because the finished dish we're going to wrap in bacon so just take out these tiny little fillets and then we can start very fiddly. I think we'll start at the back. So just our knife in under those feather bones of the loin. So basically we're just wanting the saddle. But like I said, it's not, it hasn't got a lot of integrity. Say if you were doing this with lamb where you've got a bit more fat holding it so quite fiddly but well worth the time so just taking it down until we're meeting the backbone and then we just repeat with the other side so feather bones started off And again, follow those ribs. Till we reach the end. So that is now basically hanging on for dear life. Now, I'm definitely not expecting to take this off in one piece because there is no membrane. So there's no panic. Starting from the tail end, work towards the neck end. And that gives you that lovely boneless loin. And that is what we're going to be working on. So just go over it. See if there's any bones. That is perfect. Square it off. Right, now what I need to do is give this a wipe down. Because we are going to lay some haggis down the center beautiful so we cut us a round of haggis we kind of want to break it up so we got our beautiful streaky bacon just start laying it out This will add the all important fat as well when we cook it. So you want to make it as wide as your rabbit. So that's perfect. Now We 
get our haggis and place it along the centre of that loin. Kind of manipulate it. Then we can start just putting our bacon over. This is going to hold it just like that, and then gently putting a bit of pressure on. Roll it up. And trim that bit off. That'll go in a sandwich. There's our lovely stuffed rabbit loin what we need to do now then is get some cling film wrap this up make it nice and tight make it a sausage and put it in the fridge so just place it on the start of the cling film just give it a little bit of tension and just gently start to wrap it up give it a good few layers Just like that. And we can twist the ends in. And start giving it some shape. And tuck it in. What I like to do, just to keep that nice and taut, just give it one more and that can go in the fridge overnight to chill, to set and we can think about cooking it beautiful little thing so I've put my little loin into a vat bag because I'm going to cook this in the water bath sous vide so I just want to get it nice and watertight and that's ready to go in beautiful so I've got my sous vide machine set it 58 degrees C and I've set it for an hour and I'm going to gently poach my beautiful rabbit loin I've run it a nice hot bath it will enjoy that okay so this has been doing its thing for an hour get it out now that should be enough to partially cook and keep that nice and moist so what I want to do now is get it out of the pack dry it off and either flash fry it on the stove in a frying pan or I may put it in the oven I just don't know yet Okay, so this is out the sous vide machine then. Now you can, like I have, cook it off and then just leave it in the fridge on chill. And then you can go back and cook it at another time. It's a great way actually because you can prepare these and just have them stacked up. I don't want to say for a dinner party because that is so poncy for your tea. 
It's a bit dodgy looking, isn't it? <laughs> Pull that out. Oh. oh, it's beautiful. Right, what we need to do is add some colour to that in the pan and then get it in the oven and we will prepare the rest, the neeps, the tatties, the whiskey sauce. So you want to get that lovely smoky bacon, nice and crispy, and then finish it in the oven, and I want to take it to about a temperature of about 65 degrees C. Of course, we've already sous vide it, so it should be nice and tender. Well, that's the plan anyway. So put it all over. Keep an eye on it, and then in the oven. How inviting does that look? Right, in the oven, I'm going to check it in 10 minutes. Okay then, let's plate this beautiful thing up. This is Game Hits Burns Night. You can just add a touch of whiskey just to give it a little hit of whiskey. It's so good. So this ain't no Michelin star, you know, this ain't no Joel Robichon Pompure. It's just neeps, tatties, haggis, rabbit loin, stuff. With said haggis. So how beautiful does that look? That lovely tender sous vide rabbit, haggis, neeps and tatties. Now as a rule I would tuck into this but this is for a family member's tea so I'm just going to put myself a little plate because that just seems a shame to eat and I'll let you know what it tastes like. So there's the not so rock and roll plate, the real plate, real food, how normal people would plate up. Just get through that bit of bacon. Oh, I've tried this rabbit, it's so good. And the sauce is stunning. Mm. Oh man. Look at that, eating with a spoon. Proper. I don't think you need me to tell you how good that was. It was absolutely stunning. Oh, ideal for Burns night, honestly. The rabbit cooked that way. And I know not everybody's got a sous vide machine, but if you have, give it a go. Anyway, if you like what you're seeing here today on the SRP, please click subscribe. You know where the button is. Also, Ring that bell and you'll get notifications of my weekly shenanigans. And also check me out on all my social media, my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, at the Scott Reed Project. So until next time, if you're getting your haggis on, have a great evening. If you're not, 
have a great evening anyway. Just having a couple of wee drams. <laughs>